Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Ahí estoy trabajando todavía, así que. Oh, really? Sí. Voy a, voy a batir récord hoy en la semana. Wow. wow. Así que por el momento va a estar de oyente, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Gracias, teacher. Um... Hmm. Um... Tell me present when I call you. How was your day today? Did you have a nice day? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, teacher. I listen to water. Water. Okay, vamos a ver. Adriana, hello. Is Adriana here? Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Analicia. Analicia. Hello. hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you today? I thank you. And you? Fine, fine. Fine, fine. I'm sure. Okay, Anna. Anna, Anna. No, here, Anna. Carolina Vieil. Claudia Carolina. Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin René. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present. Noé Ortiz. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Okay. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Present. Luz Angélica. Luz, 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 luz. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Present. David Alexander. Present teacher. Ok, vamos a ver. Luz Angélica, no, ¿verdad? Eh, Karen Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Edwin. Edwin Mauricio. Diego. Claudia Carolina. <laughs> Claudia Carolina. Carolina Abigail. Ana. 
No. Luis Mauricio, ya. ya. Noé. Ok. 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 Bueno. Present. Se me había trabado la aplicación y no pude decir present cuando estaba pasando lista. Okay. Eso me conecté y me voy a conectar. Bacho. Pues se le puso en huelga el micrófono. Ahora con tanto dinero. Pero lo escuchaba y no me agarraba nada. Ahí te voy de camino, Tichi. Ok. Ok, ok. Vaya. Today is our class number 18. Eso significa que terminamos en dos días. Right? Today and two more days. And good evening, then. teacher. I'm here. Hello, good evening. And then you will be ready for going to level number six. Right? So you see, time really, really flies. Mm -hmm. A ver. Are you ready? Did you pay attention to all the documents that you have to send? So you send them with time and you're not getting like late with those documents, right? ¿Cuándo es la próxima propuesta de fecha? Do you have? El 18, teacher. 18 de. de el 18 de abril. Ok. After vacation. Vamos a ver cuándo. Yeah. Oh, really? Mira qué gala. Only taking the, the week of vacation and that's it. Ok. Ok, bueno. A ver, remember yesterday we were talking about eh, could with the meaning of permission, right? And also, what was the other meaning? What was the other meaning of, of, of could? Remember, we were saying that a uh, modal okay. verb, uh -huh. modal verbs, we were saying that modal verbs can be used uh, about oh, being, with two meanings or three meanings, depending on the situation, right? And um, for example, could is a modal that I can talk, uh, that I can use to talk about uh, permission. I can talk about ability in the past, and I can also use it to talk about possibility when I want to be very formal, right? Uh, so those are the different meanings of could. Could. Could I, could I use your computer? <laughs> could I open the door? Could I? So you want to be very polite when you use that expression or that structure, right? That's why you use could. Could I open the door? Could I use your computer? Could you pass me the salt, right? Could you pass me the salt? And yeah, you say, yeah, sure, why not, right? I'm going to show you again the structure that we were talking about in last class, right? So we were talking about could, but remember uh, the most emphasis that we were giving there in the, in the manual was possibility. And we say that we use it to express 
a greater degree of certainty, right? Then we use may. Uh, if you are talking about a greater degree of certainty, we use may. If no, you can use might, right? But if we want to be kind of formal, we use could to express possibility. Another thing that we were mentioning was that when we use a model, it doesn't matter what model we are using, we use the model and then the verb in the base form, right? So I don't say could to. You could to request, mm -mm. you could request, right? You could request. So that's what you have to take into account, yeah? You could request, you could talk, you could explain, you could take, you could go, you could visit, you could ask for permission, right? So we are using that to talk about possibility, yeah? Possibility. Today, today we are going to be talking about procedures. But we are for using those procedures, we are going to be using the structure when, when or if, right? So we're going to be talking about if clauses. So that's what you're going to see there in the conversation. But before we go to that, let's discuss these questions. Where do you usually request a permission form? If I need a permission form, I request it in, I don't know, in your workplace where you request a permission form. And the other one is uh, who's the last person who signs them? So who's the last person who signs the permission form? Is it you? Is it your boss? Is it the person from human resources? Hmm? who's the one who signs the form at last? Okay, tell me the answer to the first question. Where do you usually request a permission form? Hmm? Where do you usually request a permission form? Hello. I usually request request a permission uh, on my boss office. Mm, okay. 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 Who is the last person who signs them? Who is the last person who signs them? You? Your boss? Who? In my case, it's my, yes, my, my boss, Rosie. <laughs> okay, your boss yes. is the last one. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, you're the first one, right? You sign it when you complete yes. it, and then the first one giving an authorization. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Pasha. Now, let's go to the conversation here. Repeat, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to, your, to our company. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet here. No, not yet here. Okay, where do you want to start? 
Okay. Okay. Where do, you, do want you want to, want to, want to start? start? What about how to request a permission? What about, what about how, how to request, how to request, a, permission? request a, permission? a permission? Sounds good. <laughs> I will Sounds explain good. them to you first. I'm going, I will explain them to you. First. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. I will explain, I will explain them to, to you your first. Okay, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Good afternoon, good afternoon Ashley, and welcome, and to, welcome, 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 welcome to, to our company. Welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hang. Thank you, Mr. Thank Hang. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Hang. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Do you know, Do you the, know the procedures and rules of our company? Our company? Our company? No, not yet, sir. No, not yet, no, sir. No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Okay, okay. where okay. do you want, do you to, want start? to start? What about how to request a permission? What about how what to, about about to permission? How request, to permission? request a permission? Mm, sounds good. I could explain them to you first. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. I, I will explain, explain them, to them to you to the, first. Your first. Okay. Very good. Now, I'm going to be Mr. Ray and you're going to be Ashley, okay? Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Thank Mr. You, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no not yet, yet, sir. yet sir. Mm, Okay, where do you want to start? What about, what about how to how request, to request a permission? A permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Now you are Mr. Ray and I am Ashley, okay? Good afternoon, good afternoon Ashley. Ashley, and welcome and to welcome our company. To our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know, Do the, you procedures know the procedures and rules, and rules of, our of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. okay. Where do you, Where want, do you to want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. good. I will explain, I will them explain the to you to first. Okay, very good. Now we are going to move to the to the room. So you practice the conversation and then you do this exercise, right? So you're going to answer these questions. Who is Ashley? Who's the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Okay, practice the conversation and then answer the questions. You will find that conversation in the manual, page 43, okay? Page 43. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. Hmm. I'm going to send you in groups. Well, in pairs, right? Okay. What is the number, patch? 43. Okay. 43. Thanks. Mm Try to join. Okay. Hmm. And for company. 
Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, oh, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, now me first. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, okay. First, first what? First. Hi. Hello, teacher. Creo yo que Karen está trabajando. Ay, no le creo. No. Quiero ver los nombres. Hello, hello. Hola. Hola. Hay alguien ahí. Hello. Yo voy llegando a mi casa. Compañeros. Hola. Es que se oye cortado. Hello. Y ahora. Bueno. Ah. Karen yeah. Stephanie, hello. Aquí estoy, teacher. Okay. Mi lápiz. Hello, ok. What fish? ¿Qué teníamos que hacer, teacher? Practice Me levanté un momento, Karen. Ah, ok. Eh, pero creo que nadie más puede ver la conversación. Ahí está. Me escuchan. Sí, ahora sí. ¿Y usted, usted puede, puede ver la conversación para que la practiquemos? Sí, ahorita. Ok, me avisa. Es la 43. Ok. 43. I listen to a little chick. Yes. <laughs> I listen to <laughs> a little chick chick chick. chick. A little chick. Okay. Do you see that? Usted. Okay. I'm ready. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Do you know the process and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain then to your first. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ashley. Uh, welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Uh, what about how to request to permission? Sounds good. I will, I will explain them to you. First. Okay. Teacher, hello. Hello. Uh, practice one more time. And yes. One more time before. and answer the questions. Okay. Thank you. You start, Karen. Okay. 
Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Uh, no, no, yes, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Okay, well, what about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you them to you first. Okay. Now mm -hmm. I'm sad. Question I... one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. One okay. More time, <laughs> Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know yeah. the brochure? Brochures and rules of our company. No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. Uh, I will explain them to you uh, first. Okay. Okay. Then <laughs> the questions. <laughs> Who is our say, Mr. Ashley, I suppose new a new partner. <laughs> partner co-worker. Yes. Mr. That's okay, teacher. Co-worker or partner? Co-worker. That's a co-worker. Co co-worker. Okay. Co okay. <laughs> Who is the person in charge of the new employees of the company? Is Mr. Ray. Ray. <laughs> yes, that is the Ray. Okay. And then, teacher. Okay. <laughs> you answered the question. That's it. Yes. I'm going to take you out now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is very easy conversation. Yes, it's a very easy. Mm -hmm. it's okay. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. And see you. Okay. Vamos a ver. Who is Ashley? Mm -hmm. The new employee. Who is the Ashley? The new co-worker. The new. She is a new employee. She's a new employee. To be she, Tarita. <laughs> it's very difficult to be the new one in a place. Okay, who's the person in charge of introducing employ new employees to the company? Hmm? Who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Human resource. Human resource department. Is there a person yes. in particular? Yes. yes. Who is it? Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Now look at this conversation. Okay. Move. Okay. Now let's read again. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? Okay. Thanks. Okay. I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. Look, I want to ask you. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. 
And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification and warning. warning. Why, Brad? Why, Brad? Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. Well, well, because I because didn't I show, didn't up, to show up to today. work today. I understand. You, I, understand. I understand. Tomorrow, explain him the situation. If you, you see your, your boss, boss tomorrow, tomorrow explain, explain him, him the, situation. the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Yeah, yeah I think I, I think will I do that. Thanks. that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, one more time. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hi, Annie. Annie. How is, How is it going? going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? Hello, Hello Brad. Brad. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? I am okay. I am okay. Thanks. Thanks. Look, Look, I want to I want ask, to ask you. you. What, what does, does your, your boss, boss do when a worker work doesn't work? come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him here. Well, if someone doesn't when come, doesn't my come, boss calls call him, call him or her. her. Aquí hace falta una S. Ya se fijaron en eso. Aquí está. Of course, okay, my boss calls him over there. And when the person returns, 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 he or she receives a notification or warning. He or she or receives a notification or warning. Or warning. Why, Brad? Why, Why Brad? Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. Well, well because, because I, I didn't, didn't show up, show to, up, work up to work today. I understand. I understand. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow. If you see your boss if tomorrow. If you see your boss tomorrow. Explain, her, explain the situation. Explain him the, the situation. situation. Explain him the situation. Explain, Explain him the situation. situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I, I think, I think, think will I that. will do that. Yeah, I think I will do that. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I, think will I do that. that. I think I will do that. I think I, think I, will, I will do that. Do that. Okay, very good. Now, um, I want volunteers. I don't know if you have any question about pronunciation, tell me, right? If no, I would like to listen to volunteers to read the conversation. Volunteers. Me. Okay, I have me, Joanna, teacher. Joanna and me. And Luz Angelica. Okay, perfect. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, her or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. We should but then in nothing cabeza. Right? Okay. Uh huh. Who will be my next volunteers? Rosie and me, teacher. And okay. Karen and Stephanie. Okay. Pasha, Rosie, and Karen and Stephanie. Hi, Annie. How's it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? 
I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't work, come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he, he or she recites a, a notification yeah. or warning. Why, Brad? Mm -hmm. Well, because I didn't shut up to work today. I understand. If you say, if you see your boss tomorrow, explain him this situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, very good. Excellent. Two more volunteers. Two more, two more. Me, teacher. Me, me teacher. Okay, Noe. Great. Yes. And I hear to me <laughs> the other one. Yo, Alfredo. Okay, okay. 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 Who's Brad? Who's Annie? Brad? Okay. Hi, Annie. Brad. How is it going? <laughs> Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what do your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when that person returns, he or she receives a notification on warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up today. I understand if you see you, your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Hey, very good. And hopefully you have a good reason for that, right? Okay, very good. Now, look at, the, look at this. You say, when a worker doesn't come to work, yeah? What Teacher. Do you, what do you do when, what do you do when you are sick? So this is a, a clause. The clause begins with when. The other clause begins with if. If someone doesn't come, yeah? That is what we call an if clause. And this is what we call a when clause, right? If someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. When the person returns, see? It's a clause, it's not a complete sentence. It's like part of a sentence. Cuando hablamos de clauses, algunas veces son dependent, y lo llamamos así dependent, porque necesitan de otra parte para poder ser una oración completa. E independent clauses son clauses como la, la clause que puede funcionar como, como una oración, digamos, que no necesita de otra parte para funcionar o para tener significado. But in this case, the if clause, check finishes in the comma, and it is a, not a complete sentence. Then we say it is not an independent clause. It is a dependent one because it's not a complete idea, right? We have just half of the idea. If you see your boss tomorrow, ¿qué? ¿Qué va a hacer? When a worker doesn't come to work, my boss calls him. If someone doesn't come to work, my boss calls him. So you can use when or you can use if to express what happens, right? Basha. Now let's see. We're going to answer the questions before we go to the structure. Check. What you're going to do here is unscramble, that means put the letters in order, right? 
and scramble the words. And scramble the words to make sentences. There should go. Teacher. Hola. I will come back 10 minutes. I put ejection. Ya regreso, teacher. Ok, ok. Ya regreso, teacher. 10 minutos, please. 10 minutes. Ok. Vamos a ver. Finish. Finish, finish. No, verdad, todavía no. Ok. Este es conocido como conditional eh, type zero. Este es el type zero. When you say if, there are many types of conditionals. You have one, two, three, four, no. One, zero, one, and two. But this is the type zero. Mm -hmm. Ready, ready. Yes. Let me know when you finish, right? So we can check. Remember that is similar to the sentences that we were just doing in the conversation. Ready, ready. 
Yes, no. <laughs> yes, not teacher. Teacher. Hola. I have a doubt in the second sentence statement or in the three. Yes. Eh, no falta el when. Vamos a ver. Because the first is eh, she received a notification when the when. employees arrive. Ajá. The employee. The employee. The employees. The notification. Wow, oh, the employees. Mm -hmm. Or she. When the employee arrives, she receives. Suponiendo que el employee es una mujer, ¿verdad? When the employee okay, no sé. Y en la dos y la tres no le falta el when. Vamos a ver. What? Ajá, uh -huh. tell me the order that you have, beginning with what? What, uh, what, does, what does your boss uh -huh. when? What does, what your, does boss your boss do when? Do, uh, do when? Uh -huh. A worker doesn't go. What does your boss do when a worker uh -huh. doesn't go but, to work? Ajá, uh -huh. pero verdad que él sí le falta el when. What does your boss do when? What does your boss do? When, when, teacher, no, no sé, no podría ser what does your boss do to a worker doesn't go to work. Mm. No sé, bien. Me falta, me falta algo. Vaya, what does, what does your boss, what does your boss do to a worker? Mm -hmm. A work here doesn't go to work. You have to use ah, two, sí, sí, no, aquí two no times no. two. What does you only? Do? It can what be like that. What do to a worker? Vamos a ver, escribámoslo porque se vea. Insertar cuadro tipo. What does your boss do to a worker? Ajá. Adivinen qué, niñas. Hoy es estreno de. Dos are going to work. Eso. Vaya, usamos. What usamos does you do? Así que apurate, Esteban. Do a worker. Y tenemos go, doesn't go, doesn't go work. ¿Qué nos hace falta? When. What when. does you do? When a worker, yeah. when in lugar de to, when a worker doesn't go to work. Ajá, muy bien. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uy, no tienes sí. eso, te va a <laughs> 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 Me puso una cosa que no era. Perdón, dicho. Bueno, eso 
Well, Entonces, ¿cómo queda, teacher? Me confundí. But as your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Sí. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Se comieron el when. Ah, que no me extraño. Vaya, vamos a ver este. Eh, what do you have in number one? If I don't show up to no, work. Number one, number one. If. Number one. When, when the employees reside. Oh, no, when, the when the employees. When the employees arrive, she receives a notification. She resigns. Receives. Receives. When the employee arrives. Coma, verdad? She receives. Yo la tenía al revés, teacher. She receives, oh, no, no, receives okay. a notification when the employees when the employee arrives. Mm, pero ahí es quien es chi. Uh, Ajá. Entonces él puede decir the employee notification when she arrives. Siempre tiene que okay. el, el, el socio para que tengamos el norte. Casi no la escucho. Si nos levantamos contra ellos pueden destruirnos, pero... Vaya, lo que les decía es, siempre tenemos que poner el noun primero, en este caso nuestro noun es ejemplo G, en la primera parte de la oración, ¿verdad? En la primera close, para que al usar el pronoun sepamos a quién se está refiriendo. Está refiriendo. Ajá. Oh, ok, ok. Thank you. Vaya, vamos a ver nombre three. I call if to I don't my show up if... Ajá. to work I call my boss. Pueden empezar con cualquiera de los dos lados. No problem. Ok, if I call my boss Ajá. when If I call my boss. When I don't show up to work. Mm. Pero uh, igual I think falta that when. is if I don't show up to work, I call my boss. Exactamente. Ajá, ajá. Sí, porque es así como que, ah, como le llame a mi jefe, no voy. No, verdad, si no voy, le llamo. Ok, if I don't go to work. Show up to work. Ah, show up. If I don't show up to work, comma, I call my boss. Vean una cosa. Aquí usted perfectamente me puede decir, I call my boss. Vamos a hacer la otra versión. I call my boss if I don't go aquí dale con el gobernador. If I don't show up to work. ¿Sí? Perfectamente puede empezar con if o con la segunda parte. I call my boss if I don't show up to work. If I don't show up to work, I call my boss. La única diferencia es que si usted ocupa el if al principio, tiene que poner coma. Cuando la clause termina, pone coma. Si empieza con la otra parte, por el result, oh Dios, estoy cambiando de voz. Y si empieza con el result, no hay problema, ¿verdad? No pone coma después del if clause. Mm -hmm. Any question? Question. Okay, Batch. 
Ok. Igual aquí. When the employee arrives, she receives a notification. The employee receives a notification when she arrives. En este caso, sí, el cambio que se da, eh, eh, tiene que cambiar el, el orden de, de, del sujeto también. Porque eh, por lo mismo que les decía al principio, ah, bueno, aquí en el mismo espacio, por lo que les decía al principio, primero tengo que saber de quién estoy hablando y de esa manera lo que hago es poniendo el noun primero, ¿verdad? The employee, the employee receives a notification when she arrives. Mm -hmm. The employee receives a notification when she arrives. Entonces, Primero, en la primera, ya sea cualquiera de las dos partes que usted va a poner primero, esa tiene que llevar el noun para que usted sepa, ¿verdad? Y en Plochi, siempre va a ir en la primera. O sea, el noun va a ir siempre en la primera y el pronoun en la segunda. Porque aquí a este momento yo ya sé quién es chi. Si no, el chi puede ser el jefe o la jefa, ¿verdad? Entonces, es bien importante que chequen eso. Sobro frijol de arroz. So ok. Any question? No question. Question. No. But I want to show you something related to, to the structure here. Vamos. We're saying the zero conditional. We can make a zero conditional sentence with two present simple. O sea, tengo present, present simple. Vamos a ponerle acá. Zero conditional va present. Igual present. Present simple. Y present simple, mira. Present simple igual o coma present simple. You can say it like that, right? One in the if clause and the other in the main clause. Main clause es la segunda parte de la oración, pero la parte donde va el if va a estar en present y la otra parte de la main clause también va a estar en present. Entonces yo digo present, present. Aparte, este conditional is used when the result will always happen. O sea, siempre pasa. Entonces decimos nosotros, if, vamos a poner esta más abajo, if water reaches, if water reaches, reaches, mire, present. If water reaches 100 degrees, it always boils. ¿Sí? Este es un fact y estoy hablando de algo en general. Entonces, le vamos a poner esto. Not about a particular situation. So that's a fact. Then what I can say is that the result of the if clause is always the main clause. Así se llama, the main clause. O sea, yo empiezo la primera oración con if y lo que sigue es resultado. ¿Qué sucede si yo no me baño? If I don't take a shower. <laughs> ¿Qué sucede? If I don't take a shower. ¿Qué pasa? I smell bad. Check. If can be replaced by when, ¿sí? And the meaning doesn't change. When I don't take a shower, I smell bad. If I don't take a shower, I smell bad, ¿sí? I have a couple of examples there for you. 
Vamos a ver. Check. If you hit ice, present. If you hit ice, what happens? What is the result? If I hit ice, ¿qué sucede? It melts. It melts. Ah, y, y, y lo mismo que les decía hace un ratito. Pueden cambiar también el orden. Ice melts if you hit it. Pero check. If you hit, if you hit ice, it melts. Ice melts if you hit it. When, si queremos cambiar el if por when, when you hit ice, it melts. Ice melts when you hit it. So it doesn't matter. The meaning doesn't change, right? The meaning is exactly the same. Then you say, if it rains, the grass gets wet. The grass gets wet if it rains. Mire, if it rains. Cuando tengo la if close al principio, lleva coma, mi razón. Si la pongo... Eh, la main close al principio y el if close después, aquí no necesita coma. When it rains, the grass gets melt. The, no, gets wet. <laughs> the grass gets wet when it rains. ¿Sí? So, I can perfectly use when or I can use if. And the meaning will be exactly Exactly the same. I don't know if you have any question over there. Question. No. Vaya, look at this. No teacher. Excellent. Lo voy a bajar. When and if have similar meaning. We use when for usual situation and if for unusual situations. Both clauses have to be in simple present. Use a comma when if or when comma at the beginning. Lo que ya les había dicho. What do you do when you forget your tools for work? What do you do? What do you do? Uy, imagine. If I forget, my tool will be this. If I forget my headsets, I will have to ask for an, a pair of headsets in my workplace because I definitely need my headsets to work. Yeah. I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. When I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. So check, beginning when, comma here. Beginning with the main clause, when in the middle, comma is not necessary. What do you do if you miss the company's transportation? I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. If I miss the company transportation, comma, I call a taxi. What do you do if you fall asleep and you don't go to work? What do you do? Hmm? I'm so I'm so worried. <laughs> Pero ¿y qué hace? Solo preocuparse o hace? Ah, take a bath and go to my work. Run, Running. Cry, cry, get stressed. Uh-huh, yeah, right? Okay, what do you do if you don't have time to eat breakfast before going to work? What do you do? If I don't have time to eat breakfast, I eat my breakfast later. Okay, so you don't eat. So sad, right? What happens to you if you don't eat? 
what's the result? Do I have a headache? Exactly. Me too. If I don't eat my breakfast, I get a stomachache. A terrible stomachache for the rest of the week. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Hola. The attendance. What time is it? Um, Whoosh. Thank you. Luis Edgardo. Vamos a ver. Just on time. Yes. Excellent. Okay, vamos a ver. Tell me present. Present, Adriana. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Hmm? Present. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. No here. No. Grace Mitchell. Some present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Present. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Sí, Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. <laughs> Kevin. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Nos petió Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio, hello. Noé. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Ok, perfecto. Estamos. Vaya. Okay. Bueno, let's see. Any question here? No question. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yes, teacher, no teacher. No, I'm going teacher. to send you to working groups, pero no sé. <laughs> Is this if you have any question? No. No, oh, teacher, thank you. Okay, very good. So check. We said if we begin with the if clause, we need a comma here. If we begin with the result, we don't need a comma, right? And the meaning is exactly the same. Remember, we're talking about a structure that is present, present. Si yo hago esto, pasa esto. Siempre pasa, right? If I don't drink coffee, I get a headache. Y eso que lo sabemos. O sea, vamos a escribir un par de, de oraciones extra antes de mandarlos a trabajar. Quiero una página en blanco. No. Ahí está. A ver, a ver, a ver. Vaya, tell me. You will give me examples and I'm going to write them here. What happens to you if you don't drink coffee? Hmm? If I don't, don't 
green coffee. ¿Qué? ¿Qué le pasa? There is a result, but there is a consequence. So if I don't drink coffee, I get a headache. El viejito va. Me... <laughs> If I don't drink coffee, if I don't drink coffee, I get a headache. What about you? What happens to you if you don't drink coffee? Sometimes if I don't drink. Aha. Uh -huh. Elena. If I don't drink. Okay, if I don't drink coffee. I'm sleepy all day. If I don't drink coffee, I'm sleepy all day. Very good. Uh -huh. So we can do that. What happens when you go to bed late, but really late? That is uh, 12.30, 1 a.m. When I go to bed When I go to bed after one o'clock. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasa? Complete the sentence. When I go to bed after one o'clock. I wake up late. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wake up late the next day. Okay. Give me another example. Remember, we're talking about facts. We're talking about things that always happen. Things that do not change. I know Perfectly. If I do this, this will happen. When I do this, this happens, right? So I perfectly know they things happen like that. For example, if I don't eat uh, before class, I make a lot of mistakes and I'm very disconcentrated. I'm thinking about food, <laughs> right? Okay, so what about you? What happens to you? Mm -hmm. Give me an example. Only one. Example, example, example. If I don't wake, wake up at 40, 4.45 a.m. Uh -huh. I don't get ready at 6.30 a.m. to leave to work. Okay, if you don't get up at 4 o'clock, you don't get to work on time. Is that correct? Yes, yes, that's right. Okay, Asha. I'm going to send you a link. I want you to do this exercise online and then we will check. Vamos a ver. ¿Dónde está el channel? Aquí está. Va, go ahead. Try to enter and then we will check together. 
remember, we're talking about zero conditional. Look at the exercise. Look at the exercise and complete the sentences using zero conditional. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. Yes. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. Mm -hmm. Where do you send the link, teacher? Aquí en el chat de, de Zoom. No veo nada. No, teacher, no, no hay nada. No, no hay nada. Ay, solo se le fue a Claudia. Qué chistoso. Para todos, no solo para Claudia. Es que Claudia fue la última que me mandó un mensaje. Solo a ella le fue. Oh, checking. Let me see. Yes. Remember, it's present, present, right? Present, present. Remember that sometimes uh, the sentence can be negative, right? Like in number three. Tenemos que complementar la verdad, teacher. Yeah, you have to complete them. Use present to complete them. Remember this is a structure that is present, present.
How are you doing? About to finish? No, teacher. How do you feel the exercise? Is it possible to do? Yeah, right? Remember, present, present. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, tell me, right?
Teacher, este, yo lo trabajé ahí, pero no hay manera de, de, de enviárselo, ¿verdad? No, no. That's not possible. Ok. Vaya, are you ready to check it together? Yes. If you have questions, a ver, if I wake up, uh -huh. wake up, if I wake up, if I wake up late, I, I am, I am late, late for work, late for work, uh -huh. I am late for work, if my husband cook, cooks, Cooks, exactly. If my husband cooks, he burns. burns. Cuisito. He burns the food. See? He burns the food. If Julie doesn't wear. Doesn't wear. If Julie doesn't wear. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she gets get so strong. Mm -hmm. She gets a sunstruck. If children don't eat, If children don't eat well, they aren't, they aren't, they aren't healthy. healthy. Sí, they aren't healthy. If you make water, water and electricity, you get you a shock. Uh -huh. If you mix water and electricity, you get a shock. If people eat, if people eat too many sweets, they, they get they fat. Get far. They get fat. Okay. They get fat. If you smoke, if you smoke, you you get yellow fingers. Uh -huh. And yellow teeth too. If you smoke, you get yellow fingers. If children play of five children play outside they don't get mm -hmm. they don't get overweight if you if you hit ice, it melts. Melts. It melts. Nice. If I speak, if I speak, speak. 
Mm -hmm. If I speak to John, what happens? He gets, he gets annoyed. He gets annoyed. ¿Qué esperanza va de John? <laughs> he gets annoyed. Y I feel I feel good the next day. If I I go if I go to, to bed, bed early. Mm -hmm. to bed early. I feel good the next day if I go to bed early. Lots of people come. Lots of people come. If Jenny has, has a, a party. party. Has a party. She he buys expensive clothes if she goes shopping. Uh-huh. She buys expensive clothes if she goes shopping. My daughter pass, passes, passes her exam. Passes her exams if she works. Works hard. David is sick. Is sick if he drinks. Drinks milk. Uh -huh. If we, he drinks milk. And now we go to the last five. The river freezes. Freezes. The river freezes if it is very cold if it is cold i like I to visit the museum uh-huh i like to visit the museums if i i am i'm in a new city uh -huh, if i am in a new city yeah i cycle I cycle to work. If the weather is fine, is fine, fine. My flatmate is this como my my roommate, es el compañero de apartamento, right? My flatmate clean cleans. Really well if she Clean. cleans the house. Cleans the house. If she cleans the house. Everybody is grumpy if it is grumpy if it rains a lot. Rains a lot. If it rains a lot. Uh-huh. I am eating very good. Any questions? No. No, Berta. Nos vamos al medio. La nueve, ¿cómo quedó? ¿Ah? La nueve, ¿cómo quedó? If you hit ice, it melts. Melts. Uh -huh. it Solo le agrego la S. Exacto. Por el it, okay. como dice it, Es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso le vamos a poner la S. Oh, ok. Thank you. Ok. Vaya. Ah. This is the last thing you will do. You are going to work in groups. I'm going to send you to the rooms. You're going to write a short paragraph about the policies and procedures at your workplace. Remember to use if and when. If you arrive late, you receive a warning. If you don't go to work without calling your boss, you will get a discount. Or you get a discount, porque es present, present. ¿Verdad? Remember, present, present. Present, present. That's...
if you do this, this happens. If you don't do this, this happens, right? Present, present. Any question? Questions? No, but that is not fast. I'm going to send you, uh, you will go. I'm going to stop sharing. You will go work together and then you share with me. Vamos a ver, grupos chiquis. I'm going to send you in groups of three. Quiero ver cuántos sabemos, 18. Tres por seis, dieciocho, sí. Ahí está. Adriana, David, and Mario. Mario está aquí o anda trabajando. No quiero dejar solita a Adriana. Aquí estoy, teacher. Ah, vaya, perfecto. Ana, Claudia y Karen, Janet. Las, eh, Claudia está trabajando, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, pero Ana y Karen están aquí. Diego, Carla Lorena y Rosa Hilda. Eh, Carla Lorena es working, chicos. Carolina, Abigail, José Alfredo y Karen y Stephanie, ¿todos estamos acá? Sí. Sí. Excelente. Jonathan, Kevin y Luz Angélica. Ay, aquí no los puedo dejar juntos. Vamos a hacer un intercambio. Vamos a mandar aquí. Vale, para que haya uno, uno, uno que no puede escribir y los otros sí. Grace Michelle, Joana y Noé Ortiz. Vaya, eh, Noé, hágame un favor, póngase su nombre completo, ¿verdad? Que siempre me le aparece en chiquito. Ya es chiquito el nombre. <ríe> y me le aparece todavía más chiquito. Vaya, vámonos pues. There you go. Try to join. Join, join, join. Check that to join. José Alfredo, vamos José Alfredo. Try to join. Okay, perfect. Great assurance. About policy and procedures at your work. Use if and when to join classes. Bye. Entonces, si quieren, compartimos eh, la, algunas de las políticas. Sí. Hola. Perdón, pero ¿qué era lo que íbamos a hacer? Lo que pasa es que yo estoy con esto de las actividades de mis hijos. Ah, vaya. <ríe> Cheque. Lo que van a hacer es escribir. Eh, te voy a enseñar esto. You're going to write a short paragraph about policies at your workplace. Ay, a short paragraph about policies and policies. Ivan, vamos a ver. Yes, when. You're going to use if and when. As okay. 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 Poli, un pequeño par, un pequeño párrafo, ¿verdad? Sí. Acerca de las políticas y las y los procedimientos. And the policies. Ajá. Ok. Perfecto, teacher. Gracias. Ok. Ok. José. Ahora o está con teléfono. Estoy con teléfono. Y José Alfredo está con teléfono. Sí, también. Ah, vaya, pero okay. igual, ¿verdad? Y pueden ir apuntando en el notebook y después me comparsen lo que escriban. Vaya, ok. Pues sí, hay que acomodarnos a lo que tenemos, chicos.
Okay, in my work, if if I don't, ah, pero no, pero no, pero no, no sé cómo. I uh, the if I don't do the report if I don't if I don't, don't make make it. Mm -hmm. if I don't make the report the report don't refresh the graphic. Express. Vaya, yo les voy a quitar el 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 ya 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 saben sí. que van a ir aquí. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Mm. No está. No era exactamente eso, pero, pero ahí se me ahí fue donde se me fue. My uh -huh. teacher, disculpe, no entendimos bien qué íbamos a hacer. You're going to write a paragraph about your company. Vamos a ver. Ay, espere. Ay, qué barbaridad. Por compartir le estoy dando otra cosa. By check, you're going to write a paragraph. Write a short paragraph about the policies and the procedures in your workplace. For example, you say, if I arrive late, ¿qué le pasa si llega tarde? I get a discount. Discount, okay. discount day. I get a discount, ajá. Uh -huh. Y pierde el séptimo también, ¿verdad? Y de todo pierde. Pues sí. Uh -huh. So, what happens to you if you arrive late? What happens to you if, for example, puede decir, if I don't go to work, ¿qué sucede? If I don't sign in the morning. If I leave early. O sea, todas esas cosas que son como parte de las policies que ahí le dice, no puede hacer esto, no puede hacer esto, y si hace esto, sucede esto. Entonces, eso es lo que ustedes me van a escribir. Un mini parrafito. Ok. Una, ¿qué? Voy a abrir Word, Karen. Una tres líneas, porque es 13 minutos tienen. Ok. ¿Verdad? Okay. Mire. Fíjense que otra, algo que le voy a decir rapidito, fíjense que yo creo que no sé si que mi computadora necesita un refresh o el internet, pero hoy sí que he estado, entra y sale, entra y sale. El interés. Eh, fíjense, ajá, ni que créame que el internet está fallando como no tiene idea. Sí. Uh -huh, porque este... Yo, ay, teacher, perdón, oiga, que yo no me, eh, sí estaba conectada y todo, pero no me, ay, pobrecito, a Luis lo dejé ahí hablando, pero estaba con mi jefe, ¿verdad? Ah, hablando por teléfono y por eso no pude atender la llamada. Y el asunto era que se cortaba, se cortaba. Ese era el problema. Ay. Uh -huh. Así que ahí la disculpa, ya me disculpa sí. también con Luis porque lo y dejé. Eso, con... Y eso pasa, el Inter está fallando, no sé por qué. Cuando empieza a llover el internet empieza a fallar horrible. No hombre, un medio vientecito aquí estaba haciendo viento y eso era, por eso se, se apagaba el sí. internet. Uh -huh. ¿Qué tiene? No es claro. Es, no, este es este Tigo. Ah, lo mismo. Es claro, mismo. teacher, pero Dios mío, eso lo deja uno pensando... Y usted no tiene manera de cómo cerrar la pestaña, entonces sigue la cosa ahí. Sí. Ay, no. Qué feo. Sí. Pero... No, pero sí está fallando en todo lo. Aquí en el trabajo también ha estado fallando, crean. Y sí. el internet. 
de repente le manda a uno así, inestable, inestable, inestable. Uh -huh. Así es que sí. Pero sí. Ahí le voy a compartir pantalla, Karen. Okay, Está pues la tejo. Ok, thank you. Ok. What do you do if you forget What do you do if forget? What do you do if you forget do some activity? Pueden irse directo a las, pre, a las respuestas que contestarían con esa pregunta de una vez. Ah, es que estamos tratando de hacer la pregunta y a la misma vez la respuesta. Ah, bueno. Ok. Pero, what do you do if forget? If you, if you forget. If you forget. If you forget. Do some activity. Perdón, repeat, please. What do you do, do if you forget? Do, do some activity. Hacer alguna actividad. Uy, sí, eso es triste. Okay. The answer would be on how I work hard. <laughs> you get a, a bad a bad moment. Right? Maybe. Yes. A bad time. ¿Cómo sería trabajo el doble? I work the double. I work the double. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> sí. It's true, it's true. It's a double. Uh, doble. Ajá. L-E. Ahí está. I work the double. Okay. Next sentences. So ya lo puso. Yes, ya lo copié. Okay. ¿Con qué le puse la otra? Yo creo que con una más se llena el párrafo. Share. It could be if I forget my computer. If I forget my computer, um, I ask. How do you say like um? Yo olvido mi computadora, si yo olvido mi computadora. Vaya, ese es. 
Or if you forget your computer. If I forget my computer, I, como digo, um, llamo para que me la traiga. I call someone from, from my family to get it to me. Recall. I call somebody to, to take it or to do my job. Porque no hay forma de que le presten otra, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I call someone. I call someone to bring it to my job. To bring it, yes, to my work. To my job. I call someone to bring it to my job. Okay. Okay. It doesn't have to be a conversation, right? No, it's not a can conversation. Can be just. No, no es una conversación, es un texto. Ok. Aquí, bebé. No voy a ir. Lo vas a hacer con cualquiera. Pura, te lo jale. Te lo jale. Ay, sí, te parece. Ya lo hablaste. Pura, te. Sí, sí. Sí, ahorita está haciendo castigada. Ay, no. Sí, correcto. El homework. Sí. Ok. Teacher. Ay, ay. Um, when we work extra hours, how do you say we get more pay? We get more pay. We get an That's extra correct. pay. Sí, we get an extra pay. We get an extra pay. Ajá, we get an extra pay. Ok. Porque... If we work extra hours, we get an extra okay. payment. Okay. Okay. Extra, extra payment. Extra. Payment. Payment. Okay. okay. I think that we are we're done. Yes, we're done. Lo voy a llevar ya porque ya casi luna. Okay. Okay, teacher. Gracias. Gracias. Nice, nice. There we are. A ver, a ver. Coming. Almost, almost. Uh-huh. Who wants to share? We're going to listen to a couple of you sharing. Volunteer. We can share our work, teacher. Okay, perfect. Karen, are you there? Bye, Adele, Anna. And where is Karen? I can see her. Karencita. Hello. Isa. Hola. Hola. Okay. Let's do it. Hi, Karen. How do you feel in your new work? Hi, Anna. I feel in good. The police, the policies in my world are very clear. For example, if um, I'm late to work, I, I I got a discount. If I don't wear uniform, they send an email advice. If I a don't wear that's a warning, right? Ah, uh, a warning. A warning, see. En vez de advice, warning. Sí, porque advice es así como que hay niña, no venga sin uniforme. <laughs> Pero un warning es como. You have to wear a uniform. You know that, right, Karen? Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't wear uniform. They send an email warning. If I don't present my license, they report, they report me 
to my boss. If I eat in the office, they give in guarding to. <laughs> the what? What happens if you eat in the office? They give you a warning too. Yes. ¿Y dónde come? In the area of the student has the picnic. Oh my goodness, in the cafeteria, digamos. Yeah. Uh -huh, cafeteria. Okay. Okay, how, how, how about you, Ana? It's similar to your job, Karen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, one more pair. One more pair, Jose Alfredo. <laughs> Jose Alfredo es cuando él se iba porque me vio las malas intenciones. Vaya, Jose Alfredo, tell me. Nosotros hicimos oraciones, no con un párrafo. Está bien. Okay. Okay. Tell me what you have. Ahorita. If I don't make the reports, don't refresh the graphics. Um, if I don't, uh, if I don't make a list of the accessories, I can give to the client. Um, when I'm when I late at my work, I receive a warning. E the last. If I don't wear the PPA, I receive a warning. Uh, ah, one more. Uh, when I don't answer the message, I lost the patent. Okay, excellent. Very good, thank you. Well, it's time to call a tenants. Let's see, who are you? Here we go. Adriana. Present teacher. Analicia. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present. Diego Batres, right? Edwin? Yes. Edwin, no here, Edwin, today. Qué raro que no está. Eh, Grace Mitchell? Present teacher. Jonathan? Present teacher. Karen Janet? Present teacher. Karen Stephanie? Present teacher. Katia, Carla Lorena? Present teacher. Y Kevin. Kevin René. Present. Luis Edgardo. Luis Edgardo no está. Luis Mauricio. Me perdieron los Luises. Noé. Present teacher. Usaida. Present teacher. Mario. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. David Alexander. Present, present. Ok, perfect. Bueno, ¿quién se queda hoy día número qué? 18. Ah, Luis Mauricio, ¿verdad? No, Luis Mauricio se quedó ayer. Rosa Hilda, porque no estaba ayer. Ok, teacher. Mañana se queda Noé, porque no estuvo, ¿verdad? Que no estuvo el día que le tocaba. Lunes, creo yo. Ajá. ¿Verdad que no estuvo el lunes? No, no, teacher. Ah, ya, pues se queda mañana hoy. Ok. Vaya, pues, nos vemos. Uh -huh.
Good night. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you. See you. Teacher, lo siento, no sabía que me tocaba ayer. Sí, es que como usted es la número 17. Mm, y fíjese que ayer, como el trabajo lo están pintando y todo, un olor a pintura, me dolía la cabeza, andaba mal de la vía urinaria, o sea, no, no sé, no me sentía, Ay. me iba a conectar, pero no aguantaba el dolor de cabeza. Sí, así Entonces, es bien complicado estar viendo la computadora. Cuando duele... Exacto. Cuando duele la cabeza es bien difícil. Y mi hijo insistiéndome que quería que le leyera algo. Puse la lámpara del teléfono y me cae en la boca. Me reventé el labio. O sea, no fue Ay, no. Sí, sí me dijo Luis. Como los niños no comprenden que uno se sienta mal. Sí. Ay, no. Michelle, en este caso, eh, con Chelsea. respecto a la clase de ayer, entiendo que se trataba del should could. y el could. Ajá. Could for possibility. Could. For example, eh, cuando decimos, well, you could, eh, tengo esta situación, ¿qué, pod ¿qué podría yo hacer? Que usted as, este, le da posibilidades, right? Le menciona eh, cosas que pudiera hacer en caso de, por ejemplo, si usted dice, um, I have a headache, right? Entonces las posibilidades que existen son, you could take a pill, you could go to the doctor, you could sleep early today. Right? You could. So I'm giving you a different a, things or possibilities that you could do to feel better. And in the, in the conversation ayer, uh, yesterday, it was about a girl whose mother is uh, was sick and she wanted, uh, but she had a problem because her sister couldn't go see her mother and she had to work, right? Then a colleague told her, well, you could ask for a permission. You could uh, tell the reason why you need to, to be absent and they will help you, right? You could ask for a form and you could complete a form for being absent. And that's talking about possibility. And also in the exercise that we were doing yesterday here in the manual. Uy, yo me estoy poniendo ronca, Rosa. <coughs> Como de hablar todo el día, los cambios de clima y todo eso, Tiche. No toma para las defensas usted. ¿Cómo no? Estoy tomando equinacia. Uh -huh. Eso me ayuda bastante. No, y como su trabajo es la voz también, ¿verdad? Pues sí, mucho habla uno. Eso es. Vaya, check. For example, here. There are some possibilities. There is always something to do, right? For example, if you say, well, you don't have a car, but you have to go to work, right? So what could you do? Some of the options your partners were giving yesterday was, well, you could ask your neighbor to give you a ride, or you could ask a colleague to give you a ride, you could take an Uber, you could call a taxi, or you could come by bus, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. Those are different possibilities that you have. If someone of your family is sick, what possibilities do you think exist here? ¿Qué pudiera hacer? You could give up pills. You could give, give him or her a pill, yeah. You could, you could, llevar teacher. Take. 
you could take a doctor or a clinic. Mm -hmm. You could take him or her to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And I could be care. No, cuidarlo. Take no. care. You could take, take care. care of him or her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <clears throat> what about number three? You need to request a legal document. Request? What does it mean? Solicitar. In my case, uh, I could mandar send someone. Send someone. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I could send somebody to get it. Okay. I, I could. Como pedir. Ask. I could ask permission in my work. Uh huh. Uh huh. I could ask for permission in my job, yeah. In my job. And uh, um, maybe. What about number four? I feel tired. Or you feel tired. You feel tired and you, or you feel sick. What could you do? I could rest a little bit. Mm hmm. Mm. Yes. I could drink tea uh -huh. for relaxes. I, you could drink tea. You could drink some medicine. Ah, some medicine. Mm -hmm. I could take free day. <laughs> Qué galán, ¿verdad, Tinche? Sí. You could take the day off. Day off. Mm -hmm. You could take the day off. What else? I... I could drink a fillers. No, ya lo dijimos, medicina. Pero ya. <coughs> mm -hmm. I could make... Something different, no sé, algo diferente. Yeah, yeah, try to relax a little bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent, yes. Any question over there? No, teacher. Ya yeah, sí, ya está claro. Ok, perfect, perfect. Así ya puede hacer la tarea sin problema. ¿verdad? Y fíjese que no me gusta hacer las tareas sin entender y ahora a mediodía iba a ver este, porque yo siempre que falta una clase la veo al día siguiente, pero hoy no me quedó tiempo de verla. Sí. Pero eh, allí, si no me equivoco. Hay error, no. No, 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 no hay error, pero tiene que poner solamente... Eh, could y la palabra que corresponde, el verbo que esté en paréntesis, no tiene que escribir toda la oración completa. Ah, ok. Sí, a veces eso es lo que, lo que pasa y lo confunde a uno. Sí. sí, hoy está solamente de poner lo que falta para completar la oración, nada más, no toda la oración. Porque a veces le pide toda la oración, hoy no. Ok. Y yo sigo en eso, fíjese que si se fija el inglés lo traigo dentro de mí, claro porque que si, sí. me, si me dictan algo lo escribo, pienso que no tengo tan mala escritura, pero si usted me pregunta algo, ya ahí es donde me quedo en blanco. Sí, la verdad que cuesta, pero con la práctica ahí se va. Y ese es el problema, que no me quedo tiempo y no hago el tiempo para practicar, y sí quiero porque sí. Sí, no, y es que la verdad que, que cuesta, pues, ¿verdad? Pero hay que hacer el, el, el esfuerzo, aunque cueste. Sí, ya vamos a pasar a segundo nivel. No tengo que ir tan, tan así como estoy. <risa> sí, es cierto, es cierto. Pero no, va bien, va bien. Ay, gracias, Pichi. 
también, así que no problem. No, y lo siento, la verdad que de haber sabido que me tocaba quedarme, me conecto como pueda. Pero es que también no me gusta estar diciéndole, teacher, me siento mal, no me voy a conectar bien, porque siento que el compromiso es estar presencial 100%. Exacto, exacto. Sí, que es bien complicado que lo manda al grupo y este, no, no puedo, porque estoy, no puedo al 100, ¿verdad? Pues, Ajá. Yo a veces siento pena con usted, aunque no sea yo la que lo digo, pero digo yo, si está el compromiso hay que hacerlo. Pero sí, ayer honestamente fue un día. Sí, mira, ahora pintaron. Yo cuando ayer, así... ayer, de hecho, tenía los grupos como con cuatro, bueno, como con cinco personas cada grupo. Porque de los cinco, tres no, me no. estaban diciendo yo no estoy. O sea, estoy, ah. pero no estoy. Entonces, así se, se, se complica un poquito más. ¿Verdad? Porque dos están para trabajar y los otros dos solo, los otros dos o tres solamente para escuchar. Entonces, de andar viendo, de mandar así para que, que todos puedan por lo menos escuchar y, los, y que no me quede el otro que está ahí solito que no puede practicar. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, eso sí. No, a mí como el olor a pintura, el olor a gasolina me pone mal. Y ayer sí pintaron más fuerte y si sí, ahorita todavía le hago así y tengo olor a pintura en, en mí. Era pintura de aceite el que estaban echando. Es que están, este, como yo trabajo en una farmacia, están pintando unos estantes de metal. Ay, no. Y como también están, este, nos cambiaron a nosotros, están como... Eh, puliendo unas cosas, polvo por todos lados, olor a pintura, o sea, era así como una pesadilla. Y más que se fue la luz, no, el aire acondicionado no funcionaba, o sea, fue un día de pesadilla. Uh -huh. Entonces, teacher, no me sentía al 100. Sí, no. Así es complicado. Pero que, no, ya es... que, que ya hoy ya está mejorcita. Que no, y me disculpo porque, como le digo, no sabía que me tocaba quedarme. No, pero mire, como solo son 17, ya para hoy ya no había. Nadie. Ah, y yo calculaba que me tocaba como jueves o viernes. Ajá. Pero también no entendía por qué somos más de 20. Entonces decía, ¿y cómo están, sí, están pero organizados? Es que, es que fíjese que como me aparecen unos como oyentes, están 17 y después tres espacios y después 21 entre llanos. Ah, ya. ¿Y, de, y oyente qué significa? Que no reciben diploma. Uh, avanzan, pero no reciben diploma mientras estén de oyente. Uh -huh. Entonces, es que si algún día me dicen a mí que voy a estar de oyente, es mala noticia. Sí, es mejor. Es, pues lo que yo he entendido es que es porque entregan eh, los papeles tarde. Entonces quedan. Uh, Así es que no, es de mandarlos con tiempo. Ya lo voy a recordar a mi jefe entonces. Sí, que ponga las pilas. De... Sí. <risa> de okay. Vaya, pues, eh, Rosy, a descansar. Muchas gracias. Entonces, and gracias. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. See you. See you.